Hey, it's the Insane Gamers, back again with another PBR pedal. And I'm using my Mono Rock team once again today. And, uh, yeah, you didn't see much of the selection screen because my camera had a spaz attack like it is now. Oh my god, I need to put the head cleaning tape through. <laughs> so anyway, in that little glimpse of the... <laughs> what the heck is going on? Jesus Christ. Okay, you may have seen there that I have a Tyranitar now. I, uh, managed to get it to get on online, finally, I mean, I just remade it, and now PBR lets it on, but, you know, it's PBR logic, we're not gonna go there, are we? You'll get to meet it later, and it's very cool, it does pretty well in this battle. And, Beanie, don't bark at the garbage man. Uh, otherwise I'm gonna have to send you with him. So, yeah, um, this battle had some very long waiting times, so I had to cut some of that out, so. Anyway, I've, I'm gonna take care of this Ludicolo, I hope, with, uh, a Mega Horn. But before that, he goes ahead and fakes me out. I guess predicting the trick room, he probably knew it was coming. It always seems like Japanese people know the trick room's coming, and everybody else doesn't, so it's kind of weird. Uh, Ghost of Sacred Fire gets a critical hit, and uh, obviously I survive it. And I get a burn, of course, because it's a 50% chance, so yeah. Anyway, uh, I go for Mega Horn now, and I pierce him with my Mega Horn, and he dies. I just wanted to get that thing out of the way. Um because it's water type, obviously, and grass type, so it's gonna cause a lot of problems if I let it live. I gotta get it out of here as quickly as possible. So yeah, I'm, hurt. I'm getting hurt by a burn now, so I don't think I'm gonna be getting my trick room up. And at this point, I thought the battle was over. I was, like, ready to say, oh my god, I have lost. And then I see a Palkia, and I'm like, oh my god, frickin' Japanese people are in their frickin' Palkias. You just wanna, ugh, strangle them. Because they're, they're just, they have this love affair with Palkia. It's just really annoying. But anyway, <coughs> I go for Psychic and uh, Rock Slide, since I figured I wasn't going to get my Trick Room up at this point, so... Thought maybe I could take out Ho-Oh, at least. And, uh... Well, of course, Palkia's Palkia, so... I don't know how the heck I'm going to kill that thing. But... Oh, well. Guess we'll have to see. I forgot to cut this out, apparently. Hmm. You know, this Capri Sun Roar and Water stuff is sort of not very good. It's... Oh, whatever. So, this turn kind of confused me. They double protect. I mean, I guess they could have just finished me off, but maybe their thinking was, if they burn stall, the burn is going to kill me next turn anyway, and then they get to see what I'm doing, so they can, like, double team somebody, or blah, 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 you know, just so they know what's going on, and so they don't have to bother attacking Lunatone, is probably their thinking. But now that they know, or now that at least I know, they're not going to attack Lunatone, I can set up a trick room now, because Lunatone's safe, they're not going to attack it, because it's going to die from burn. So, <clears throat> let's, uh, let's get a trick room up now. <coughs> and then I can start, you know, actually fighting, rather than just sitting here looking at Ubers being... Ubers. I have to admit, though, I Ho Oh is okay because it's not like it's easy to kill. But stuff like Palki and Dialga are kind of annoying. Anyway, they call back Ho Oh, and I was thinking, crap, they're gonna send out like that Salamence and you Surf or something, and that would suck. But no, they send out a Tyranitar of their own and get the Sandstorm going. So that's okay. Don't mind. Go ahead, start up the Sandstorm for me. That's that's perfect. So Palkia uses Hydro Pump. I didn't know it could get Hydro Pump, huh? Anyway, I hung on. I hung on with my Focus Sash. And they go for Rock Slide, and effing a, it it misses. I mean, come on now. This is just bullcrap. So yeah, hits Tyranitar. It doesn't do very much because Tyranitar's got high defense, and it's probably a bulky one anyway. And uh, here's my Trick Room. So yeah, what are you gonna do now, Japanese person? <coughs> yeah. <coughs> so. Now the sandstorm. I think the sandstorm is what actually sealed this person's fate. So, <clears throat> anyway, Lumitone dies from its burn, and now I'm gonna send out Omastar because I'm gonna hydro pump that Tyranitar in the face. This Omastar is a very powerful hydro pump. I mean, it's like getting punched in the face or in the chest by Hulk Hogan. Like that's the power of the hydro pump, man. It's awesome. So I didn't really know what to do with Rhyperior and. I, I was gonna, like, protect an Earthquake and, you know, that sort of stuff. Because he was probably predicting me to use Hydro Pump on Tyranitar or, or something like that. So I was just gonna protect an Earthquake to see what I could do. Maybe bring the Palkia down a little bit to 
I'm, I'm hoping below half so I can finish it off with a Stone Edge with Tyranitar. So, anyway, uh, Omastara protects itself, and, uh, Tyranitar protects itself, so he was predicting Omastara, I don't know, maybe he, this, this person just loves Protect, I mean, it's ridiculous, you, you're seeing a minute, this person is, uh, is obsessed with the move Protect, but, anyway, here comes the Earthquake, and it doesn't do as much as I would have hoped it, <coughs> because Palkias are annoying, and that is such a, ugh, Palkia, stop growling. Okay. Uh, Spatial Rend is a noob of a move, by the way, because it's just so annoying. It's so overpowered. It's a... Oh, it's horrible. I hate Palkia. I hate Palkia. Have I said I hate Palkia enough yet? No, I don't think I have. So anyway, now I get to send out my awesome Tyranitar. And it's not a normal Tyranitar. Well, I guess it sort of is, but not really, because I haven't ever fought a Tyranitar that's like mine before. It's actually a mixed attacker. I thought that would be pretty cool because people would expect the Tyranitar to either be physical or, in rare cases, totally special, but you wouldn't really expect a mixed one, so I guess that sort of comes into play later in the battle, but anyway, now we got two Tyranitars out here, and I'm like, yes, I finally got mine online, I'm ready to use it, yeah, yeah, Tyranitar, and it actually, uh, it actually does very well. Anyway, Palkia protects for whatever reason. I guess maybe he knew I was going to Stone Edge or something, but whatever. Here comes the Hydro Pump, and it finishes off the Tyranitar, even though it's in the Sandstorm, which I was definitely expecting to happen, because, like I said, that is one mean Hydro Pump, especially when it's backed up by that Life Orb. So, yeah. My Stone Edge misses, because this person loves to move Protect, and it's really annoying. But, the good thing is, every turn they stall... The Sandstorm hurts him a little bit more, and obviously I'm immune to it because I'm Rock-type. So I'm kind of loving the Sandstorm at the moment. So all they have left is a uh, Ho-Oh, and I'm not really worried about Ho-Oh, I want to kill that Palkia. So Ho-Oh can Sacred Fire till his heart's content, I don't give a crap, I just want to kill that Palkia. So, <coughs> now here I was contemplating, is it at low enough health to KO it with Earth Power, or should I double team it? I, uh, I think I wind up using... Oh, what do I do? I can't even remember now, even though I just had this battle like 10 minutes ago. I think I wind up, yeah, Hydro Pumping the Ho-Oh and Stone Edging again. Um, because I, like I said, I'm not as worried about the Ho-Oh. But this time the Ho-Oh protects, so I'm just like, okay then. Well, that sucks. And then Palkia protects again. <laughs> This is so annoying. I mean, dude, all you're doing is hurting yourself by stalling. Come on now, you're just whittling down your Palkia, making it easier for me to kill it. I mean, it is understandable, he might be trying to wait out the Trick Room, but it has quite a few turns left, so... Uh, he's not gonna be able to sit there and spam Protect the whole time. He won't be able to Protect this turn, though, with Palkia. Anyway, so, Ho-Oh has leftovers, so I guess it doesn't really matter as much for Ho-Oh, but anyway. <coughs> this time, I go for Earth Power on the, on the uh, Palkia, because I think that it is at low enough health to KO it. And I'm gonna go ahead and Stone Edge the Ho-Oh, because that will definitely 100% kill it. I mean, it's extremely weak to rock, and that's why I, it's, it's a nice Uber, because you just kill it with a rock move, and that's it. And, uh, anyway. Um... Yeah, waiting, waiting, waiting. Please stand by. Your battle is important to us. Please hold. <sighs> I can't believe I forgot to cut this part out. Oh wow, I do that all the time though. Let me just look at the pretty sandstorm in the middle of the ocean. Yeah. That's sort of, that's almost as weird as it being sunny at the Courtyard Coliseum. Oh, well, whatever. So this time, Ho-Oh protects two times in a row. What the heck is going on here? Jeez. So anyway, at least Earth Power goes off. And at least Earth Power kills the Palkia. So <coughs> now the Palkia is gone. And now I have this battle in the bag. Because Ho-Oh is not going to be able to damage me. I mean, Sacred Fire is going to do nothing. Brave Bird is going to do nothing. If it has Earthquake, I'll be able to survive at least one. Considering it's unstabbed. <coughs> I mean, I really don't think he has a chance to win now. Anyway, so, Sandstorm is still going, of course. And, uh, 
Twisted Dimensions finally fall, but at this point it doesn't really matter because I can just gang up on him. So yeah, let's use Earth Power on it because we're intelligent. No, I'm gonna go for Hydro Pump, and uh, I'm apparently I'm out of PP for Stone Edge, so I guess it's time to switch to the special side. And it's kind of good I did switch to the uh, special attacking side because he used Sacred Fire, and <laughs> he did. Wow, wow, so much damage. Don't do that again. Can't take another one of those. Oh, well, I get burned. But luckily I'm mixed, so I can just use Thunderbolt. And I get a crit, but I don't think the crit really mattered because this Hydro Pump would have finished it off anyway. That actually did a lot. Even if it hadn't gotten a crit, that would have done about a third. And considering ho is a special wall, that is not bad at all. So anyway... Finally finish off the, uh, Protect Spamming ho -Oh as well. And that was probably one of the most annoying Star Wars I've done. Other than the Clefable thing, where my Zoomerl got frozen for like seven turns. That was absolutely bonkers. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time with another PBR battle.